So this is how we're going to go ahead and graph something on a TI-84. The first thing we're going to do is go into the Y equals and clear any equations that we have in there. Sometimes you may want to go through and just check to make sure there's no other equations there because sometimes things get put in down at the bottom. And that would be a cause if you get an error. You also want to make sure that your plot 1, plot 2, and plot 3 are off. If they were on, it would look something like this. And that's going to also possibly cause you an error in your graph. So let's go ahead and turn that off. And our first polynomial that we're going to graph is 2. So we type it in 2 x plus 1, 2 times quantity x plus 1, times x plus 2, times x minus 1. And we don't have to put those time signs in there. The calculator already knows that that's the case. And then one of the things that I always like to do is I always like to graph it by pressing zoom 6 because that puts us on a standard window and you can see here's our graph and it shows up very nicely and then I'm going to adjust my window. I'm going to cut it in so it goes from like negative 5 to 5 on the x-axis and it's going to just kind of take up a little bit more of the window and I do that by pressing window I'm going to change this to negative 5 go down 5 we're going to go by 1's and we'll go from negative 10 to 10 on the y-axis. And now I can't press zoom 6 because that would take me back to the standard window. So I just press graph. When I press graph, you can see it moves and kind of stretches that graph out. So it fills up the window a little bit better. Now we know that negative 2, negative 1, and 1 are our zeros or x-intercepts. We also want to find our maximum point and our minimum point. And so to find our maximum point, we're going to press second, trace. And you can see right here, number 4 is our maximum, so we can scroll down to 4 and press Enter, or you just type in 4. It's asking for a left bound. So to get to the left bound, we've got to go to the left of the maximum. And you can see the cursor moving there as I'm pressing left. And now I'm to the left of that maximum point. Press Enter. Click back. Now it's asking me for the right bound, so I move to the right of that maximum and I press enter. It's asking me for a guess and a guess will just help us get a better um, maximum and it'll get to the answer faster. And again I press enter. And it tells us our maximum is negative 1.55 and 1.26 and that's a point that we can use. To find the minimum we're going to press second trace and there's minimum. I'm going to press 3 this time. And it's asking us for the left bound of the minimum. Now our minimum point is right here so I'm going to get kind of to the left of it press enter. Now I'm going to go to the right of it because now it's asking for the right bound. Press enter. I'm going to just press enter again for guess and it's going to give me 0.215 or 0.22 and negative 4.23 and that's another point that we can use. Finally I'm going to go to the table to find some other nice points. And So press second graph and you can see right there the blue word above graph is table. And you can see again, negative 3, negative 16, negative 2, 0, negative 1, 0, 0, negative 4, 1, 0, 2, 24, and 380. Those are all nice points on the graph. If I wanted to get half points or half x values, I can go second window, which will change the settings of the table, hence TBL set. And where it says delta table, I can type in 0.5. And when I do that, and go back to the table, you can see now negative 3, negative 16, negative 2.5, negative 5.25, negative 2, 0, negative 1.5, 1.25, so on and so forth. And you can scroll up and down and find those nice points. And the trick then is to go and transfer this over so that you get a nice looking graph on your piece of paper. Soon we'll probably be able to go ahead and save these and submit them electronically, but for right now, we're still doing paper and pencil, and that's what you're going to have to do. So I hope that helped out, and uh, feel free to refer back to this video.